Hey guys, what's up? It's your man DX. Welcome back to the Elite DX channel. We're going to talk today about a man who I disagreed with on a couple of the finer points of things that he used to say, but a man who I feel was on the same team as I am on and had the same mission, which is to educate you young men out there on the finer points of dating in general and about female nature. And that man is Kevin Samuels. And if you haven't heard by now, you've probably been under a rock for the last day or so, but Kevin Samuels has passed away. I want to take time out to say rest in peace to that brother. He was fighting a good fight. And I'm going to elaborate more on this in a few seconds. But first, everybody tap that like button on this video. And if you're new and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the Elite DX channel. Also hit the reminder bell so you'll know when I drop a new video. Leave me a comment in the comment section. And if you would like to share this video on your social media, go right ahead. It's all good. Y'all, life is strange and it's fleeting, as they say. You could be here one minute and then the next minute you're just gone. Now, Kevin Samuels, no matter what his detractors had to say about him, and as I indicated at the beginning of this video, I had a couple of points that I didn't really agree with him on. Uh, but no matter what you say about the man, at least he was truthful and honest, especially with black women, women in general, and with people in the dating market in general. He was speaking the truth. And to me, there's no more noble person in the world than the one who speaks the truth. And as Shakespeare once wrote, to thine own self be true. Big shout out to all the truth tellers out there. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, even though Kevin Samuels and I pretty much were on the same team, there were a couple of points of contention where I did not agree with some of the things that he said. The first thing is that Kevin was basically dedicating his platform to promoting marriage, trying to get women to understand that in order to be married to a quality man, you have to act this way, be this way. For one thing, I don't really believe in the institution of marriage uh, in general. And to that point, in this modern age, you can have the same type of relationship with a person as in a marriage by way of contracts and wills and things like that without having to get the seal of the secretary of state in your state to approve it. And it's just a different time that we live in. So I feel he was a little outdated on that. And the second thing that I disagreed with Kevin Samuels about is the idea of giving women the information on how to get a quote, high value man. For obvious reasons, I feel that this is just simply literally giving away the keys to the vault. And one of the reasons that I say that is because I don't believe that most women are truly honest interlocutors when it comes to relationships. And all that simply means is that when it comes to relationships and discussions about relationships, most women are not being genuine and truthful. And the reason for that is because when it comes to relationships, discussions about relationships and almost anything else in life, it's based on a power dynamic. In a relationship in particular, the two partners are always trying to subtly gain a power advantage over the other person. And since women are not physically stronger than men, they resort to other ways of gaining power over men uh, by way of words, emotions, uh, basically through manipulation. And so I don't believe that most of the women who were following Kevin Samuels truly believed in the message. I believe that they were just trying to get information on how to finesse a rich or wealthy man. And you could just tell by the attitude, the demeanor, and the words of most of these women who called into Kevin's show that they were not trying to change themselves in order to get a good man. They were just looking for information. Now, a small percentage of those women who called in were sincere and were trying to get information on how they can be better for men. I want to make that clear. Even though it was a small percentage, some of those women were calling in in good faith. 
But basically, when it boils down to it, relationships between men and women are a subtle form of warfare. Let's just call it a cold war. And in any war, one of the ways you defeat your opponent is by spying on your opponent and learning their battle strategies and their secrets. It's called intel. And since I don't believe that most women in general are trying to change themselves in order to please men or that they even give two craps about what a man wants, I will never waste one single day of my life trying to teach these women anything. I say that until they come around to a reasonable and fair way of thinking, let them continue to live the miserable, lonely existence that they live and let them continue to die alone. That's my position. And so Kevin Samuels and I were on two different sides of the fence on that particular issue as well. But for the most part, we were on the same page. And again, rest in peace to that brother. Well, I first heard about the death of Kevin Samuels uh, yesterday evening, on Thursday evening. I was on the Internet doing some research and I came across a story that said that Kevin Samuels had died. Well, I thought it was just somebody capping big time or somebody that just wanted some attention. So I just dismissed it. One of the reasons why I dismissed it was because I had plans to do a spoof video on one of my other channels uh, to where Kevin Samuels would get a death threat from one of these women who called into his Instagram show. And it was a pretty funny skit. I was writing it. So I thought it was just somebody wild and with their comedy thing who had just beat me to the punch. But I found out today, this morning, that it is actually true. And I found this article on the NBC News website. It reads, Kevin Samuels, a YouTuber who became known for his controversial relationship advice, has died, his mother confirmed to NBC News. Rumors of his death first circulated on social media Thursday night. His mother, Beverly Samuels Birch, declined to release details about what happened. She said she learned of her son's death from social media. That was a terrible thing for social media to put that out. I didn't even know. I hadn't even been notified, she said in a phone call on Friday. All I am doing is requesting that people pray for us. The Atlanta Police Department said officers were called to an apartment on East Pacers Ferry Road Northeast on Thursday morning regarding a person injured. By the time police arrived, first responders were performing CPR on an unresponsive man later identified as Kevin Samuel. A woman in the apartment told officers that Samuels had complained about chest pain and that she attempted to help him, but he fell, the police report states. The woman called 911. Samuels was taken to Piedmont Hospital, police said. When contacted Friday, the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office said they could not confirm or deny any information. Samuels, who described himself as an image consultant, shared YouTube videos to his more than 1.4 million subscribers discussing topics that included dating and relationships. Well, the article goes on from there. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I will put a link in the description for you guys. One thing I will say is that there are salty, salty people, mostly females, in the comments section of this particular article and on other platforms on the Internet really just rejoicing in this man's death coming with that negative energy and major haterism for this dude they're coming for kevin even in death the internet is a strange strange place and this world is a strange strange world people really just don't like to hear the truth i should also mention that there are other people kevin's supporters who are speaking up for the dude uh, on all platforms on social media, which I like to see. Big ups to all the people out there that are doing that and to all the truth tellers that are still alive. And one last thing to the haters. Don't come on any of my platforms with any of that mess or that negativity because you will get dealt with and you will get 86 up off of my platform. Real quick, real talk. And I'm going to say it one last time. Rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. You will be missed. Well, I guess that's it for me. If you've just discovered me here on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. 
Also hit the notification bell so you'll know when I drop a new video. Everybody hit that like button to show love for the content. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. And if you like to share this on social media, go ahead and share it. If you would like to support the channel and help the channel grow, there's links to my Cash App, my Zelle, and my Patreon page in the description. It's also on the screen right here. And until next time, this is your man DX, and I am out.